What is going on you guys? Okay, so I'm back with, an, with another movie review. Alright, my last movie review video was called Defending Cinema. I was defending the new Aladdin movie. And it got a very positive reception, which is awesome. And from now on, whenever I do movies, if I just do movie reviews in general, It'll just be called, it'll be called Cinema Reviews, but if it's a particularly, you know, one of those movies that gets a very bad reputation, then it'll be called Defending Cinema, but it'll all be under one playlist, so that way it's easier on me, and it's easier for y'all to find on my channel. So without any further ado, this is my review of Joker. Started off, the story is amazing. I mean, in, in this particular movie, it's actually somewhat accurate with the comics. He has so many, like, origin stories. I think the Joker in, <coughs> what was it, The Killing Joke, he said that when it comes to his origins, he prefers it to be multiple choice. Well, this is one of those multiple choice options, okay? He started out as a bad comedian. That was one of the origin stories, and this explores it. And you see, like, he... I get so many Spider-Man 2 vibes from this movie. I mean, seriously, he gets shit on by everybody. And it's just like, yeah, people love the Joker in general, like I said before, but at the same time, like... In this movie, you feel sorry for him, and you like him even more, because one of his origin stories is being explored, and, like I said, you, you, you really feel bad for him. I'm pretty sure Joaquin Phoenix did his research like Heath Ledger did, and just really brought it when it came to those scenes where he has to laugh uncontrollably. I mean... Every time I watch those scenes, I feel like he's going to collapse from lack of oxygen, I swear. Okay, with his mom, with his mom, you can definitely tell, like, yeah, she wants the best for him, but at the same time, she lives in her own world, and she constantly asks him, like, did, did we get a, did, did, did we get a letter from... Thomas Wayne? When are we getting that letter from Thomas Wayne? And you find out later on that he that she has this delusion that he's Thomas Wayne as in, as in Batman's dad's son. And like, when I first saw Joker, I'm like, what the hell? Are you telling me that the Joker was Batman's brother this whole time? Only to find out that it's actually it was all actually in her head. That was just... I'm just like, that was a major twist. Like, it turns out she was just, you know, she's just crazy and she really adopted him. And it's just, it, you know, the talk show that him and his mom watch all the time. And the host, played by Robert De Niro, is like making fun of Arthur's stand up, stand -up routine that he did at this comedy club. And he just bombs. You really see how, like, you know, he went from being Arthur's hero to being his enemy throughout the course of the film. And it's just like, it's just done so perfectly. I mean, like, because, like, Arthur, for, throughout the course of the film, complains about how society's all messed up. And no one really respects him, but he can at least look up to this talk show host that makes him laugh. All of a sudden, that talk, same talk show, talk show host is, like, just making fun of him because... You know, he failed this one time when he visited a comedy sh comedy club or whatever you want to call it. It's just like, it really sh paints you the picture like, wow, you never know who you can trust in society. Let's get down to the main event. Let's talk about Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. 
Okay, so a lot of people say that like, oh, he was better than, you know, Heath Ledger's Joker. Or like, oh, yeah, Joaquin Phoenix is, a, is great playing the Joker, but at the same time, he's nowhere near, you know, Heath Ledger's caliber. Personally, I prefer Joaquin Phoenix as a Joker because with, with Heath Ledger, you never really find out anything about him. And, and obviously a lot of people had problems with Joaquin Phoenix playing the Joker because like, that's just, that's not really what you expect him to play, which I go, I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that. Heath Ledger was doing rom-coms before he played the Joker. And he won an Oscar. A freaking Oscar. And he nailed the role. Okay. Don't let someone's filmography affect how you feel about their performance in a particular movie. Hell, Robin Williams even did a, a mystery th thriller when you find out that he's the freaking murderer. Okay? And it was an awesome movie. My final thoughts is, this movie is awesome. If you really love the Joker, you'll definitely love this movie. If you love Joaquin Phoenix, you'll love this movie. And overall, there are parts of this movie that... that might upset you. Because it explores mental illness. But... But overall, it's definitely worth checking out, so... So yeah, that's my review of Joker. And that being said, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Bye.